goodness, he about pulled the rod out of my hand. Hey folks, Chris Souders, Catfish Crazy, and welcome to this week's episode where we're hitting Kerr Lake, which is the largest lake on the Roanoke River chain, and also home to the world record blue cat. When we come back, we'll be catching up with our guest, showing you some tips, and hopefully catching some fish. Stay tuned. Hey folks, welcome back. We're back here on Kerr Lake, like I said before, home of the world record blue cat. Alan, thanks for joining me today, yes, brother. Sir. We're yes, gonna sir. get after these blue cats. Yes, sir. But we're gonna be dragging today. I love to do some dragging, yeah, dragging yeah. baits. That's what we're gonna do. Now, you know, here on the Kerr Lake, what is a, you know, yes, we're on the world record holding lake. That's right. But, you know, on a normal day-to-day -day basis, uh, you take somebody out, you know, what can they expect? Uh, I mean, I'm gonna say the average size fish you could expect to catch is gonna be somewhere in you know the eight to fifteen pound range. Yeah. You know, on a good day, we'll catch you know fifteen to twenty fish. You know, Just in that a size good range. Good solid fish. Yes, sir. And I mean, it's lots of twenty to fifty pound fish in here, and nice. I love. And obviously, you know, some world record fish too. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, we're gonna get some baits cut up and hopefully show them some of those big old fish. We yes, think. sir. Sounds good, man. Let's get to it. All righty. All right, today we're gonna to be using a couple different baits. I'm gonna cut cut one of these big old gizzard shad up and show you how I like to cut them. And then I'm gonna have Alan cut that, this perch. We're also using perch today. That's a big old perch, Alan. Yeah, that's a nice one. And I'm gonna have him cut it up and show you guys how he would cut that up. Now I'm just gonna fillet, fillet one big fillet off there and we don't know really how the bite's gonna be today, so I'm gonna cut that in half, and then I'm gonna split it right down the center. And I'm gonna put that on one hook, and make it one bait. Now that's that's how I kind of prefer those big old gizzard shad. But Alan, once you show them how you, you know what you do, because we was talking about it, and you was talking about something you do with the fins and things yeah. like that. So so show the folks at home, you know, kind of yeah, what you do with that. Yeah, I like to take it. I mean. I don't know if it really helps or not. I do like to scale them, or at least knock some of them off. Yeah. Uh, the main thing to me, and it might not make a big difference, it may be more in my head, but I like to get rid of those those fins right there, right off the gate. If I'm gonna chunk them, if I'm gonna fillet it, you know, I'll leave it. But I like to take it and cut that old big top fin off, because it seems like it can have a tendency to mess up sometimes, you know, when they get it and it's that big point sticking up, you know. That, they might make I, them want to drop. That's it. right. So I don't want nothing to stick in but that hook if possible. Now, I've also seen them fins kind of get back on the hook barb yes, that's and right. not actually let the fish get hooked. That's right. So I try to cut out, you know, most of that if I can and you get three, you know, three good pieces and I fillet them, you know, as well, just like you done that big gizzard. Now that's a nice piece of bait right there. But that's what we're going to be. Perch. Yes, sir. It's deadly effective. Let's get him out there. Yes, Turn sir. that into a blue cat. Yeah, man. Let's do it. And I'm going to cast this one out. You know, a decent decent distance, nothing crazy. And get off, you know, about 10 to 20 foot more line than I know the depth I'm going to be fishing in. And then once I do that, I clip this board in. And while I'm putting this board on, I'm going to keep letting this one right here feed on back a little bit more. Now let me ask you a question, Alan. Why, why do you feel the 10 to 15 foot is important? Well, it keeps it, you know, it's always dragging bottom. And if I happen to go up on top of a point, you know, to say it's 15 foot, well, if I got 50 foot of line, obviously gonna drag. But if I go, you know, if I know most of the fish are gonna be in 25 foot of water, but we end up in 35 and 40, 
the bait's not suspended. I'm still dragging bottom, you know, the whole way. And plus with the angle out from the boat, and it's gonna slide, you know, a little bit of difference in angle between your board and actually where your bait's at. So All seems to be pretty effective a, to me. Makes a difference, doesn't oh, it? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. He's on there. Got him. Oh no! I got him. You got him? Yeah. What's it feel like? Pretty decent. Good deal, good deal. Now we're just coming up on this first point. Now why do you feel, now I know why I feel like points are always a good thing but why are points in your eyes a good thing? Well, I mean, I know here, a lot of these fish right here, these shad get up on these points at night, and I think that's one reason they're up there. They go, to, especially this time of the year, and there's a lot of mussel beds. Yeah. Uh, especially on the couple points that's right through this part of the lake, and I, and I know them blues eat them, because like on our guide trips, you know, you can feel them in their belly, rattling. Yeah. So it's. Let me get that board. But points are always off, a, No, he's on. He's still on. There. He's coming to us. Ain't no giant, but I think he's decent. They're kind of. Yeah, he's on. Look at him dig. Yes, Look sir. Look at him dig, buddy. First Kerr Lake Blue Cat. Oh, yeah. He's tangled up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Give me some, yes, buddy. Yes, sir. Way to get the party started then. Now look how white this fish yes, is. Sir. Look yeah. how white that fish is. The lake has been super muddy the last week. Wow. And that joke is albino. <laughs> He's pretty, isn't he? He is pretty fish. Very now pretty. He ate perch. He did. Nice perch chunk. Now why do you think he is so white? I'm gonna say because the water's so muddy. Yeah. I think he's just almost like getting bleached out when the lake gets really muddy and stays there for a while. It seems like a million deep. Boy, he's pretty yeah. in it. Big old yeah. fat belly yeah, on it. He is, man. We'll get him back. Right. We'll be right back with more Catfish Crazy, right after a word from our sponsors. Catfish Crazy is made possible by these outstanding sponsors. Sea Art Boats, boats built for a lifetime. Suzuki, the ultimate four-stroke outboard. Monster Rod Holders, number one rod holder in catfishing. Offshore Tackle Company, often imitated, never duplicated. Your leader in planer board technology. Slime Line Fishing Line, catch the fever. Smooth Moves, smooth your ride with Smooth Moves. You got him? Oh yeah. Good deal. I think we got a decent fish here, Alan. All right. Let me sit this one down. Now we just went across another point. Yep. Uh, trolling motor remotes right yeah. there if you need in. to move us. Yep. yep. And we talk about this in other shows, but especially while you're dragging, having good communication with the person you're fishing with. Oh, absolutely. Really makes a good. Well, it keeps from having monster messes for sure. Yeah. We got a lot going on back here. And normally, and a lot of times, you'll catch a second fish whenever one goes down. Yep, yep, it happens right often. That is for sure. He's, he comes to the top on us. So we'll get him in. Right. You tell me what you need me to do, brother. Um, I think he's gonna come in nice and smooth. Nice and smooth for us. Get him in the net. And... Pretty fish. Oh, yeah. Bring him over here to the side. Now that one you had uh, come on first too, yep. didn't it? Sure did. Nice fish. Oh yeah, outside planter board. Yes, sir. He won't come at all. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> yes, sir. There you go, dude. There you go. Pretty work. Pretty work. Heck yeah, we'll take him. Yes, sir. Nice fish. Nice, pretty. Another beautiful blue cat. Kerr Lake. That's my first Kerr Lake blue right here. It's a nice one. We'll take him like this any day. Absolutely. Pretty fish. That one definitely has got you. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, we got a double one. Alan, you want to get that other yes, one? Yes, sir. 
There we go. There we go. That's the way we like it. Yes, sir. Hey, we just talked about this on the last one about yep. how it's going to happen. It's going to happen it. quick. And then we just got two on. That's it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hope mine's a little bit bigger than yours. <laughs> <out. laughs> it's possible. This one felt good to start with. I think it's coming to me now. He pulled that board down good, yes, didn't he? Yes, sir. He slammed it. Now, why do you think that dragon baits is so effective in, you know, a big open body of water like this? <sighs> Like me right now, you know, a lot of these fish are not concentrated at one depth and on one particular kind of anything. They're just kind of scattered out. And to me, you know, you put out a bunch of rods and you just get in that area that you know it's a lot of bait or some of these muscle beds around and you just start covering ground. You know, even yeah. moving 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 is slow, you know, over a course of six, eight hours, you know, the law of averages is in your favor. Yeah. You know, as far as being able to. That's a good one right there. You want me to, here, I'll, uh, I mean, that, I got it. You got that yeah. one? Nice. No giant, but nice one. But I think it's just covering ground, honestly. And when these fish are scattered out, you know. Nice little double. Yeah, man. And this is kind of what people, you know, yep. the majority yep. of these fish are going to be like. This is a good average size, you know. 10 pounds. Yep, yep. Up to that what we've been ball. catching this That's morning. That's right. That's right. Buddy, let's get them back. Yeah, man. Let's catch some more. Let's do it. Catfish Crazy. We'll return in a few moments. Catfish Crazy is made possible by these outstanding sponsors. NKT.TV. Slunger Cat Outdoors. NKT Productions. Marine Master Trailers. Extreme Bait Tanks. Tackle Bandit. Demon Dragons. Fitech Cast Nets. Catfish Clothing. Cabela's King Cat Tourney Trail. We was just getting ready to change baits. Got every, <laughs> all but two rods in. Here, let me get that out of your way. All but two rods in and we had one get smoked. We was just kind of freshen up baits. Yeah, it's a good idea now, you to said do something. That. You was talking about that, you know, about every 30 minutes, 45 right. minutes. Kind of freshen up baits. Now I get that question a lot is, you know, how, uh, how often to switch up things. Now, is that a good fish? I think he's a little bit better than I thought. I think he's in the other pole. He's decent, I think. I don't think he's no monster, but he's decent. Oh, yeah. yeah nice pretty. fish. Nice fish. And plenty of boys with a deal Look this at morning. You. you let him make a mess out of things. Oh, yeah. Look at him showing off. <laughs> Big old fat pretty one. Big old butterball, yes, baby. Sir. Give me fish. some. Yes, sir. Boom! Now I'm gonna tell you what. Nah, now that's this, a fat one. Now this thing, <laughs> this thing looked like it was been eating like me. <laughs> it's been eating little Davies and drinking Diet Pepsi. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Look at the belly on that thing. My goodness. That fish has been eating. Now. Yes, sir. Absolutely. And that's probably that's one of them fish is gonna grow up to be yeah a true monster. Yep. If he's got an appetite like that. Yep. Look at the belly on him. I oh, mean, yeah. fat. Like he ate a basketball. Absolutely. All right, folks, we just made our first drift and we was kind of going into the wind. It was pretty calm. We're going to turn around where we marked those fish and caught those fish and we're going to go back down. But we'll be going with the wind. So we're going to use these drift socks, put them out on each side, and then use our trolling motor to pull us into it. These uh, help us control the boat better and we can position on that ledge where we need to be, where we was catching those fish there before. So let's get these out, get the boat slowed down, get it where we need to be, get some baits back out there and get to catch a fish. Fish. That fish? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a fish, that's a good one. It is, that's a fish. That's a good one too. Is it good? It feels like it. A good one or a big old good one? Might be a big old good one. A big unless old he's, good one. Unless he's hunking something. Well, no. He coming. As they can see, there's stuff back there get hung up in. You know, there's, a bunch of, <laughs> <laughs> there's a bunch of structure back there, ain't there? Yes, sir. It's a little bit of a jungle. But you know, sometimes you gotta get in that stuff. It is. When well, you get you get closer, you let me know, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep tying until you get a little bit closer. He felt really, really good. Well, he took her down good, didn't he? Yeah. I'd say he was in one of them treetops back there, and he just come back out there and suck that old perch down. What do you think? Very possible. 
You uh, need me to get you a belt, harness? <laughs> <laughs> Pulling this hard. And I think he's a pretty one. good fish, isn't he? I think he he felt that way to start with. Let me get some of this stuff out of the yeah. way. Where do you want me to go, Chris? Uh take him, we'll take him on that side of the boat. Well, I was trying to let up off of him a little bit. Unless he wants to come this side of the boat, and then we'll take him this side of the boat. Shh, he's coming dead in. I hope it's not a law. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's fish. Son, I think you got yourself a good in here. I think so. He might fool me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look Pretty how fish. white he is. Beautiful fish, fish Alan. Pretty fish. Now he's putting on a show. Yes, yeah, sir. Boom. There we go. Boom. A little bit better. That's one of them uh, Kerr Lake monsters yeah, right sir. there. Pretty, pretty. Yes, yeah, sir. He got them both. He got them both. He ate, he ate both of them. Show that to him. <laughs> Hold that up there. Now look at here. Now this fish, you tell me it wasn't hungry. Yeah. Ate both baits. Whatever it come up there, it sucked in, and it sucked in both, and it's got both hooks. <laughs> he wasn't coming loose, was no, he? No, sir. That's 25. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Plus I'll say some of that range. Is that one of them you caught before? Okay. I don't know. Got a little I see hair that. in his lip there. Very possible. Well, it's, we do a lot of catch and release on any fish over 10, 12 pounds. I mean, it's really important to do that. That is very, very important, no matter what body of water you're on. Absolutely. Let them big ones go. Yep, because these ain't really fit to eat, in my opinion, to start with. It's a big old fish. That's it. All right, dude, you ready to get him back? Yeah. Get on, girl. <laughs> Good job, bro. Perfect. Boom. Good deal. Yep. You get him? Yep. Uh oh. What's it feel like? Uh, he's decent. Nice fish. Nice fish. Well, I don't know why you're reeling that in. Why don't you uh, tell the folks how they can get a hold of you? Tell them about what you got going on out here on Kerr Lake. Yeah, I offer I offer trips here on Car Lake. Uh, I also offer them on Gaston and Falls Lake. Uh, you can get a hold to me at 336-459-2526. Now what's the which what's the name of the service? It's Prime Time Guide Service. And you can look me up on the web. And you do half day, whole day? Yep, do both. Is that you one right both. there? Um, I think it might be hung. Get that fish in. And, and you may have another one on back there. That's what I'm wondering. You uh, you take care of that. Yeah, Check out one back there and I'll fish. watch this one. Go. Is that a good one? Feels good. Good deal. Here's the first one he caught. <laughs> nice little fish. Beautiful. Yep. Now, this would be a good eater. Great eater. That's the size I would recommend. That size is smaller. Yep. It's great eating fish. Not a lot of red meat. Well, we'll get this one back and we'll get that one in. What do you say? All right. Sounds good. Don't need net on that one? Ah, uh, we might. Here, I'll get that board. Step back here. I don't think he's no giant. He feels decent. Now, you set your clips up a little bit different than I do. Why don't yeah, you tell them why you do that? Do I need to get that drift up? I think I'm gonna be able to get him right here in between, I think. He's pretty okay. decent, I think. I think it's a decent one? I think so. I can't tell. This rod over here. I don't know if he's wrapped. It's fighting for me. Oh, yeah. 
decent fish. There we go. Yes, sir. <laughs> Good deal. Heck yeah, buddy. Give yes, me some. Yes, sir. I tell you what, that's been a pretty pretty eventful day. Lots yeah, of man. action. Absolutely. They keep you busy out here, won't yeah. they? Yes, sir. Fish yes, this sir. size right here are just fun. They're just absolutely. Absolutely fun. And yes, when you can sir. catch high numbers of them, you can't they just it. don't get no better than no, that. No, sir. Can't hardly beat it. Well, folks, we've had a tremendous, tremendous day out here on Kerr Lake with Alan. Alan, thank you yes, sir. for having us out yes, here, brother. Thank you all. It's been a pleasure, a true blessing to come out here and fish with you and uh, teach these folks some stuff about dragon. Yes, show sir. them what Kerr has to offer. Yeah, man. And uh, yeah. They're in here, they're in here bigger, but it's, it's been a pretty good day. You it's know, been a good day. Beautiful weather, that helps. It's slick, that. smooth, calm almost. <laughs> Very rare. Sun shining, and we're above ground. That's so. right, absolutely. That's all that matters. Well, folks, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you come back next week for more Catfish Crazy action. God bless. You got it. Still got him? Yeah, he's still on there. Anything to him? I think he's cooler size. Oh yeah, he go in the bucket, boys. Taking the Lake Crisco. <laughs> <laughs> oh. See, that's what you get. That's what I get. <laughs> I'm gonna Photoshop a tear in your eye right now. <laughs>